Everybody with an AR-15 knows that we need a sling on the rifle. It's like having a holster for your pistol. It's how we keep the rifle attached to our body. But one thing that sucks about having a sling on a rifle is when we don't have it attached to our body, if it's in the car, if it's in the closet, whatever, when you pull it out, the sling is this big loop of uh, webbing that's gonna get stuck on every little thing, a doorknob, a gear shifter, steering wheel, whatever is available for it to get caught on, it will get caught on. That's where the centrifuge training sling comes in. What makes the sling really cool, as you can see here, it has this uh, built-in hook that allows the slack of the sling to be retained when you're not using it. You just fold it up and loop it back and then draw it tight. And all the slack from the sling is retained and you still have access to your fire control group, your safety, your trigger, uh, bolt release and all that stuff. If you had an ambidextrous mag release, you'd have access to it also. So when the sling's folded up real nice and tight when you get the rifle out, all you gotta do to get the sling undone, slide that lever back and this loosens up, the sling falls out and you can throw it over your neck and uh, do business, do work. All right, so this isn't really any different than the other two-point sling. It attaches in the front uh, with a QD or whatever uh, device you wanna use and it attaches in the back. Same thing, QD or whatever you wanna use. So it's just a standard two-point sling. This hook right here is actually what sets it apart. Because every other sling, at least that I've seen, what you had to do to uh, keep the slack up was usually run the slack up as tight as it could get and then somehow fold, this is what I did at least anyway, fold the slack around the stock like that and have a rubber band right here and uh, loop it through the rubber band or a ranger band, whatever you want to use. That works, it's just not as ideal because it's not as quick getting out and you know, if you snatch it real hard, you can break the rubber band and then you're having to find a whole nother rubber band. This is a uh, built-in metal hook that grabs the slack and the slider takes out all the slack, tightens it all up. So that's the cool feature about how to keep the sling uh, nice and tidy when you're transporting the gun or um, when you're getting it out of a vehicle maybe before you uh, need to sling it. But it's also a uh, really nicely made sling. It's one inch webbing, uh, kind of like the Frank Proctor sling. That's the, uh, the sling I had on this rifle. It's a great sling, I love it. I got it on my seven and a half inch pistol right now. And I've got another one on my SBR. I love them, they're super lightweight, they're super fast on the slider. And uh, it's just, just enough sling for what you need and uh, nothing extra. This one just kind of takes that a one step further. It's got a little bit of padding right here, which is good if you're toting around a full-size rifle um, with a variable optic on it, they get kind of heavy, especially if you're gonna have to tote it around for a while. Um, yeah, the stitching on the sling seems high quality. All the, uh, the metal parts, the little gliders seem high quality. This guy right here, he's got the centrifuge training logo um, engraved in it. This is the little slider that uh, slides it. So Centrifuge Training is uh, William Petty's company. If you don't know who William Petty is, you need to look him up. His uh, area of expertise, I guess you'd say, is uh, vehicle close quarter combat, uh, VCQB, fighting in and around vehicles. So you'd imagine if he designed a sling, it would be geared toward fighting in and around vehicles. He's got a picture on his website of a, a duty rifle with this sling on it. It's drawn up nice and tight, sitting in the rack in between the uh, front seats of the cruiser. So that's kind of what it's designed for, uh, grabbing the rifle out of a vehicle and not having to worry about it getting snagged on a gear shifter, a steering wheel, a door handle, anything like that. So if you're a cop, you know, military, whatever, if you store this inside of a vehicle and you gotta grab it and get it out and go fight, it'd be a good option for you. Even if you're like me, you're not military, not police, anything like that. If you store it in your house, um, the sling could be great for that too because you just get the sling out of the way. If you have to grab it for whatever reason, middle of the night, whatever crap goes down, you got to grab it. Whatever scenario uh, you want to put with it. You may or may not have an opportunity to throw the sling on or you might not want to throw it on. Um, you know, if you've got to grab a kid, a family member, or something like that, you might not have time or opportunity to put the sling on until later. So, 
Like I said, when you draw it up nice and tight, you've still got access to all the fire control group right here. The safety, you can work the trigger, you can do all that stuff. You can run the charging handle. Whatever you need to do to fight with the rifle, you can do it with the sling drawed up tight on the side. And then when you get the time and opportunity to actually put the sling on, you just grab this slider right here, slide it back, and the whole sling just falls out. And there you go. You can put it around your neck and go to work. One downside with the sling is, uh, for the price, it doesn't come with hardware, so you have to buy like uh, QD attachments or clips or hooks or however you want to attach it to your, your rifle. You have to buy those yourself. I don't guess that's a huge deal because everybody's going to have a different preference on how they want to attach the sling to their rifle. So I guess by shipping it uh, without attachments, it gives you the, the freedom to do what you want with it. So overall, I'm liking this sling a lot. Uh, I like how it, it ties in real nice. I like the pad on it. I like the construction of it and the idea behind it. And uh, I haven't had it very long, but uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to using it and seeing how it works in the long run. All right, guys, if you like that video, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe. If not, just go ahead and at least watch another video while you're here. We'll see you next time.